knowing the Bible's good. But I don't want to stop short of doing what it says. And this is why as followers of Christ, we want to learn to think and act and live from a biblical perspective. See, surveys have shown that most Christians in contemporary culture, they don't even have a biblical worldview. That's what we see played out again and again. They don't see life from a biblical perspective. I'm talking about Bible-believing Christians, people that show up in church every Sunday. They don't even have a biblical worldview themselves. We saw evidence of this this last week when the state of New York passed the Reproductive Health Act this very week. You need to understand something, folks, if you don't get this already. Culture is working very hard to reshape the way that we view the world and everything about it. Many professing Christians, they don't seem to have a biblical perspective any longer. They don't seem to have a biblical worldview any longer. They, they don't see the world from a godly point of view. And that is why there is such a slight distinction in the way the world thinks and the way many professing Christians live their lives. And this is not just a factor when it comes to the sanctity of human life. It applies to matters of morality and integrity and character and you name it. Uh, see, a Christian, you know, we, we need to realize that a Christian who has a proper understanding of the Word of God and the world, they'll realize how important it is not only to know what the Bible says, but to be willing to stand up and do what it says.